Hi. Yeah. My name's Brennan, and um, I'm doing a social sociology thing here. And um, I want to basically talk to you guys about uh, this policy recommendation that I've come up with. Um, it's about um, basically about geographic um, policy in childhood. Um, it's okay. So basically, we got your childhood experiences. So uh, I made some notes, and this is just a really rough sort of uh, sketch here, right? Um, okay, so <laughs> it says here, Annette Video Script YouTube. So Annette is ab advocating for non-normative. Advocating for non... I don't think the mic is working. Advocating for non-normative youth travel and transplant. So what it's about is... Uh, Okay, so I have basically a bunch of experiences and observations that uh, make the whole thing rather clear. Um, <clears throat> so when I was growing up, I realized that I'm left-handed. I grew up in California. They called me E.T. phone home because I would, I would make this point. You know, I was like, uh, uh, like John Vasconcellos, the social vaccine. This is my blog name. I use that. Um, okay, so basically what you have is... Um, people like Jimi Hendrix, Kurt Cobain, and these guys are left-handed and they grew up, they're true left-handed, not like a president left-handed, that would be ambidextrous, these people, you know, there's a difference between ambidexterity and monodexterity, or understanding what uh, forward and backwards type people are, not uh, more type persons, uh, nothing to do with... Uh, uh, lifestyle, morality, or anything like that. So just purely a genetic, um, like, okay, so contrasting Jimi Hendrix, Kurt Cobain would be Paul McCartney, Bill Collins, Bruce Willis, uh, Charlie Chaplin. Uh, these guys are all left-handed, and they grew up not in West America, nowhere near West America. They all grew up along the Atlantic uh, seashore, which is basically the British seashore, the, you know, the Irish seashore. Um, okay, so, now, uh, we have, um, I don't know if these are, like, actual case studies, but then you have sort of fictionalized or actual fictional, for, for instance, um, Into the Wild, this movie about this kid, he grew up on the west, on the east coast, okay, so the Atlantic coast, are pretty close there, um, and he goes out west and he just, just, like, has no connections. And then you have um, your Twilight Saga. Now this is interesting. The, the vampire guy. He's. Uh, I, I'm going to test the audio because I don't think it's working. Actually.